Welcome to Biscuit Boxes. In this lesson, I'm learning to solve problems by counting the number of groups I've made. Now, I have been left in charge of packing uh, a new type of purple fizzy drink, and you can see I've got some cans here. In fact, I've got 15 cans there. Now, to get them ready for packing, they have to be um, put into groups of five. So I need to work out how many groups of five could I make if I've got 15 cans. Now I can record that like that, like this. 15 cans put into groups of five, and I'm working out how many groups there will be. Now you right, might remember in our last lesson that we said the divided by sign means shared between. And it does mean that, but it can also mean put into groups of. And that's what this lesson is going to be about today. So let's just go back up to our question here. Well, I've got these 15 cans, and I need to put them in groups of five, so I need to think of a way that I can work out how many groups there will be. So, I might be able to use my multiplication facts. I know that there are five in each group, so I'm thinking five times what would use up all the 15 cans? Well, I know that five times three equals 15, so that means there should be three groups. If you weren't happy using multiplication, you could have used uh, repeated addition. We could go one group of five cans plus another group of five cans, that, that means we've uh, used up 10 cans, plus another group of five cans, well that equals 15, and you can see that we've got one group, two groups, three groups. Well, we'd better go back up here and use our materials and see if that does work. I'm going to make a group of five cans over here. So that's one lot ready for packing. I'm going to make another group here. So that's a second group ready for packing, and I'm going to make one group over here. So you can see we're alright. We've got three groups, and in each of those groups, there's five cans. Let's try another question. Um, as well as packing the purple fizz, I'm also in charge of packing all this new green lime fizzy drink. But to get it ready for packing, this green fizzy drink needs to be put in groups of nine. So I'm wondering, how many groups will I need to make? And I can record that like this. If I've got 18 cans, and I need to put them into groups of two, how many groups will I need? Well, just like last time, I could use my multiplication facts. I could say two times what equals 18. I've got 8 in here because that's a total amount of cans of fizzy drink, and I've got 2 here because that's how many cans of fizzy drink there need to be in one group. And I know that 2 times 9 equals 18, so I think there should be 9 groups. Or I could use some repeated addition. I could go 2 plus 2, that's 4, plus another 2 is 6, plus another 2 is 8, plus another 2 is 10, plus another 2 is 12, plus another 2 is 14, plus another 2 is 16, plus another 2 is 18. And you can see that I've got one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups, seven groups, eight groups, and nine groups. So we've got the same answer using multiplication and addition, which is what you'd hope, hope for. So let's go back up here and actually share them out and see what happens. Well, I'm going to put one group of two over here, 
another group of two there, put another group of two here, another group just up here. Uh, I might put one group of two right next to each other there, another group of two up here, put another group of two over in this corner, another group of two right next to each other here, and my last group over there. And if you count them up, you can see we were right, there are nine groups of two. Let's try one last question, but this time without any materials. Uh, this time I've got 21 cans of fizzy drink, which need to be shared into groups of three, and I want to work out how many groups will there be. Well, using my multiplication facts, I can go three times what equals 21. I've got this 21 because that represents the total amount of cans, and I've got this 3 here because that's how many cans there need to be in a group. So this missing amount here is the amount of groups I'm going to need. Or I could use repeated addition. I could go 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus Three. And if you've been adding those up as you'd be going, as we've been going, you'd see that I get to 21. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. And there are seven groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if we go back up to our multiplication question, I know that 3 times 7 equals 21. So that means if I have 21 cans which have to be grouped into groups of 3, then I must need 7 groups. Well I hope you've found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.